Hi, this is Gabe Belanger again. I'm the owner of Computer Geeks on Call. So, what I'm going to go through here is installing and downloading malware bytes in two parts. The first part, we're just going to locate and download the installation file for malware bytes. Then we're going to install the program. So let's get to it. So I'm using Windows XP here. You open up uh, Internet Explorer. It brings up the window. Uh, and then what we can do is type in malware bytes plus download. What that does is it finds web pages that have the phrase malware bytes and the word download in them. So if I click Google search, there we go, malwarebytes.org. If I go here and click download free version, I have this download now, which I click on. And oh, what's going on? Oh, to help protect you, block from downloading the file. Well, I actually wanted to do that. So if I write, if sorry, if I just click on this bar and choose to download file, the file should come up for me to download. So there we go. So in this situation, I don't recommend you run. I recommend you click save. To make your life simple, we have to focus on this area, save in. So we have all these choices. You can put it pretty much anywhere. Why don't we just put it in my documents? So we choose to save. This file name is the, the installation program. You need to remember that. So let's remember mbab-setup.exe. So we click save. And wow, that didn't take long, did it? Obviously, I'm using high-speed internet. At this point, we can click open folder. And what it does is it brings me to the folder where I've saved the file. And what was the name of that file? Oh yeah, mbamsetup.exe. So it brings me right to the file. Let's pretend that for some reason you screwed that up and you're like, oh man, where did I save that file? Well, you can go through the downloading process again or you can just go to my documents because you suddenly remembered and then you're like, what was the name of that? Oh yeah, mbamsetup.exe. So if we double click this program, what does it do? I get this warning in Windows XP. Do I want to run it? And I say, yes, I do want to run it. Uh, language, English, but you can see they're smart enough to have all these different languages, which is kind of awesome. Um, if I click OK, I get the installation wizard. So I click Next. Now what this is doing, you know, we've downloaded the file, we've saved it to our hard drive. Now we're actually installing the program. We do have to accept the agreement and click next, click next. I'm kind of going through this quickly, but let's review that. I double click the program, I get this window. No real choices here, either cancel or continue. So I hit next. I choose to accept the agreement. If I don't, I can't click next. So I choose to accept the agreement. I go next. Uh, I can either go back or I can cancel or I can go next. So there's not much choice here. So we go next, uh, next. Uh, do not, like, don't create a start menu folder. I like that. What that means is in the start menu, I'm going to be able to see malware bytes. So let's leave that unchecked. So there will be a start menu folder. I click next. Do I want a desktop icon? Yeah. Do I want a quick launch icon? That's in this area. Yeah, we may as well do that. So I click next, choose to install. Right now, it's decompressing files, and it's then going to take those decompressed files and run the installation on uh, on my computer, my version of Windows. If you have a lot of virus and spyware problems, you may not get this installation to complete. Uh, it may fail partway through. Uh, additionally, it may fail when you try to update or scan, or you may be partway through scanning, and the viruses and spyware will just close the window. So. If weird stuff happens, it may be due to viruses and spyware already on your computer. So we have some cool options here to update malware bytes, anti-malware automatically, and then to launch it, meaning to run it. So why don't we just do that? So we click finish, and what's it going to do? It's going to update and then launch or run malware bytes. So there we go. It's connecting and updating automatically. And what is it doing? It's getting the latest definition of what is malware, what is what are viruses and spyware at this point, what's all the new stuff that's out. You need to have the updates running on your anti-malware, or your antivirus, anti-spyware program in order to, to be aware of what the latest virus and spyware issues are. So we get an indication here that the database was successfully updated. So 
its version of what all viruses and spyware is has been updated. So we click OK. What's the next thing? It's going to actually launch the program or run the program. And eventually that will come up on screen. And so here we see malware bytes anti-malware program. At this point we've updated it. If we were to click on perform full scan, click on the scan button here, it's like, okay, what do you want me to scan? Well, in my situation, a little bit complicated, the local disk C is where Windows is and that's where viruses and spyware are. Might also be in other locations. This is my floppy drive. I have nothing in there. CD drive, nothing in there. These are my, my uh, drives on my server. Map network drives, I don't have to worry about that. So then I click the start scan button and what does it do? It goes through the scan. So that's the first part is updating, well sorry, downloading the program, running the installation of the program, doing the update and then starting the scan. After a little bit, um, I'm gonna let this scan go through and we're gonna go through removing viruses on spyware. That'll be part two.